Now we move on to actually capturing the sniff. And this is an important process because some dogs might just think that we're looking for a nose touch, but we're actually looking for them to sniff the article. And if they're giving us a nose touch, sometimes dogs actually hold their breath when they do this. So we actually want them to be acknowledging that they're getting the reward for sniffing out the article. Okay, so you need a small pot, something that can, you can fit in your hand and that you can make some holes in the top of. Place your scented article inside and pop the lid on. You also want a clicker or your marker word um, and some tasty treats, maybe about 10 to 15. You don't want to repeat this too many times in one session. Keep them short and sweet. And me and Sid, I'll see you on the other side and show you how to do it. So I'm here with Sid and I've managed to get my pot and my clicker in the one hand and the treats behind my back. You might want to practice the mechanics of this because it can get a bit difficult. So all I'm going to do is attract his attention to the pot, wait for the sniff, mark and reward. Good boy. And don't forget it's actually a sniff we're looking for, not, not a nose touch. And then I'm throwing the reward away to reset him. So then he'll come back in and take another sniff. And you can delay the click and then that will start getting you an indication on the actual pot. Good boy. And that's capturing the sniff. See you next time.